the longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. What brings the esteemed Rissad to Skyrim? Esteemed Rissad, even. An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Ah, uh, what do you have for sale? Take a look. Let us see. Uh, you would not mind, esteemed Rizad. If Khajiit camps out with you, given that it is raining and thundering and being very, very nasty out? I hope not. You have a very interesting dagger there, and I will take it. Let us see if I have anything I can offer you. Well, I can give you my old iron dagger. How about that? You seem to be a better enchanter than Zaytest is, so... Hmm. Let us see what else I have that I can offer you. We can be at least a bit familiar, yes? Kajit to Kajit. Let us see, let us see. Ah, uh, This one does not have much. Hmm. A fox pelt? And a goat pelt? How about this? Uh... Ooh, you have mead? They test will take your mead. And your backpack, because they test needs things to carry things in. Ooh. You have some very, very interesting enchantments. Indeed. Ooh, and a cloak. This one will take your cloak, please. Because it is, um, damp in Skyrim. Ooh, you carry moon sugar from elsewhere. Ooh, that could be useful, yes. If you will, if you would allow me to set up that, um, that tent around here, just so that I don't have to go explain to the Nords that I'm not part of your caravan, so that they will let me sleep in the city, you know how it is. Nords. Nords are not very nice, are they? Okay, thank you for your services, Rissad. May your road lead you to warm sands. And you as well, my friend. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. I will. I, I promise I'm not going to steal anything while I'm here. I'm going to set up my camp. <sighs> I am not going to steal your firewood, even. Just be around your face. It's a strange sight. The white flakes that sometimes fall from the sky. You are very new to Skyrim, are you not? Dwarves, wares, and weapons. All for sale. Well, this one spent much time in Cyrodiil, so this one is very familiar with the snow. This one was part of a, um, a group, a group of, um, shall we say, um, bandits. Out of Bruma and... And well, and Bruma is Bingo. very snowy. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Rissad knew about that. That would be, um, unfortunate. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. Yes, indeed. It is very, very rainy. Honestly, they test much prefers the, the snow to the rain. Because... Come, come the snow does not seep through everything that you are wearing. It just sticks to the outside and then melts. And while the outside of everything gets wet, you are very nice and toasty warm on the inside. Yes? Oh, this is miserable. The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. Indeed they do. But... May your road lead you to warm sands. And you as well. Come and see what is for sale, traveler. Oh, I did. I did. This one did. 
You have a very nice set of wares. I wonder which one of these is the enchanter. You honor Khajiit with your presence. <laughs> no more than Khajiit is honored with your presence, I assure you. <sighs> this one. This one did not expect to find fellow, fellow Khajiit out here. All for sale at fair prices. Okay, this one needs to warm up a bit. This one also probably needs to get some sleep, but... Tell me, my friend, are you the one who enchants all of these things? Because I just sold some uh, very enchantable gear to the esteemed Rizad, and... Yes. I, this one hopes that you find something interesting to put on them, yes? Also, this one hopes you do not mind her sharing your fire, because it's, um... I don't need to tell you that. Some come to buy, but others come to steal. Khajiit oh, trust me. no mercy to thieves. Uh, <laughs> and, wares of all kind. And, and so all they should not. Yours. I'm no thief. Not anymore. I am but a simple courier. Or I was for a while. And then I took up bounty hunting. You know. Khajiit does not like camping in the rain. And it is still raining. No. <laughs> Khajiit was going to be going to Riften, but this is horrible. All for sale at, fair prices. Mm, at least the fire is warm. At least the fire is warm and this one has fresh water. And many good things to eat. Although this one probably needs more good things to eat because it is a long road to Riften. Although, this one does know a shortcut. Goods and wares of all um, she thinks, anyway. And Actually, I don't remember where exactly the shortcut is. Just that it is somewhere over the mountain. Um, and this one probably should not walk into town with her armor on. That just seems... That just seems like asking for trouble and weird looks, yes? So, let us do this. Alright, we are prepared for disguising. My old friend always told me that it was better to make myself look like I was not a threat because I am very small. And people would not assume that one as small as I would be able to stab them where it hurts. They were usually wrong. Of course, then again, I usually had him as backup, so... It is always good to have a very, very scary Bosmer on your back. Having your back. Yes? Is that how that phrase goes? Spend enough time in Cyrodiil and you get all of your idioms mixed up. Oh well. Good morning! Khajiit is, is entering for food, if that is alright. Khajiit needs wares. Because she has coin. Ah, I'm very out of practice with this. Oh, a forge. Ooh. This one has never actually been inside White Run before. Oh, hello. And ask Yorland Greymane for help. Um, are you talking to the beggar? What is this? The drunken huntsman. I'll take the job, but don't expect I wonder who she is talking to. It may be that man b working on the workbench, actually. Let me know if you see anything you like. Oh, oh, a Bosmore. Oh, and and many people. Is this an inn? Ah, hello, my Khajiit friend. In the market for some hunting supplies. Uh, perhaps. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies. What have you for sale? Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Well, I am not as mighty a huntsman as some. 
I have seen better. This one, ha <laughs> this one has seen better. This one has spent time in Zero Deer. Can you tell? Uh, ooh. That is a very nice one. Very nice bow indeed. And very nice arrows. I'm not sure what all of these weapons are for, though. This one does not uh, know why one would go hunting a bear with a warhammer. That just seems a bit strange to me. Hmm. A lockpick. Ah. Uh, this one will... This one will consider. This one wants to know if she can sell you some things because... Eh, not really. Why have the name Drunken Huntsman? It is a curious name, no? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. Oh. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. That is quite a story, my Bosmer friend. Um... Thank you very much for your business. Uh, thank you. It was not much business, but thank you for the chat. Ooh. That is a very scary looking gunmer in that corner. This one will not go talk to her. This one knows better than to go talking to scary people. Although... This one could probably hold her own. Let us see. Um, it is actually quite nice out, now that it is not raining. Look, it smells like rain. Not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. Ooh, we someone's in trouble. I ain't done nothing. Oh, she was not talking to you. Zaytest was not. There are not many beggars in elsewhere. Most Khajiit tend to turn to stealing. So, you know, the, um... Oh, did you need something? Oh, no. Everything's fine. Oh, look at this. A vegetable stand. With tomatoes and leeks and things. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. They say what? When those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. They say Helgen got what? Oh, these Nords have too much mead. Perhaps Arisad needs to take his wound sugar elsewhere because... Oh, an apothecary. Uh, what was this one saying? Something about Khajiit being thieves is not a, uh... It is not a stereotype that is not unearned. In many cases. Okay, let us see what is in here. The Bannered Mare. Yes. Let us go inside and check. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. She sounds a bit like me, with the way she taps her R's. Hmm. What? Never seen a Khajiit yes. in white red before? I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking, what can I get you? Uh, this one would like to see, um, if you have any food for sale. Take a look. This one is on the road a lot, you see. Um, this obviously the backpack. Uh, let us, let us browse the wares. I will take the apple dumpling and the pie. Khajiit does like pie. Ooh, that is some quality meat you have there. Yes, yes it is. Hmm, she will take the boiled cream to eat. Uh, let us see, let us see, let us see. Do you have any fish? Khajiit very much likes fish. Ooh, you have these. Those are very good. Uh, this one has to be careful with what she buys. She needs enough money to make it too riften. Let us see. Uh, oh, salmon meat, salmon steak. Yes, this one will take the salmon. Oh, mud crab. Hmm. Um. That looks like enough. So, uh, what are people talking about ar around Whiterun, hmm? Khajiit is curious. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. 
Well, that is very interesting. Need anything else? Just let me know. Will do. Let us see what this is. Oh! I see Harvest Sense 27th. Yes. Okay. Hungry, tired, or just plain thirsty? Um, this one is very, uh... I wonder what's up there. Um, this one is fine. Hmm. What? You have a very interesting hat, sir. Just saying. Let us be off before any more of these Nords think that Khajiit would be fun to make fun of. Uh, this one thinks the shops are not open yet. Oh. I saw that big tree up there. That must be the, um, the Gilder Green. It looks like it is, uh... Oh, hello? Need something? Nope. It's, it looks like it's just shutting down for the winter. Hello, cow. Looks like it's just shutting down for the winter, yes. You are a very big and fluffy cow, yes. This one likes you. Hee <laughs> hee. Cows. They're very cute. There are not many cows in elsewhere. Uh, let us stay out of the way. What is it? There is a statue of Talos over there. Interesting. Oh, Make sorry. Okay. Need something? Nope. Hmm? Not anymore, anyway. This one just needs the shops to open so that she can go browse them. Yeah? Hello. Need something? Nope. Lady, could you spare a coin? What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course this one can spare a coin. Or a, a small one such as you, yes? Oh, thank you. Divine. Bless your kind heart. No, no, it is... Why are you begging, hmm? It seems very strange for a child. It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. Oh. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Oh. Um. Well. This one does not much have much that could help you. Small one. But, um. Take that coin and buy some food. And, and a bed for the night, yes? Bye. Be well. Warm sands to you. Perhaps. Well, that is a sobering. Sobering thing, isn't it? Oh, hello. You have bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Ooh, the best blacksmith in Skyrim, you say? Who is that? Khajiit is very curious. <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge up at Yorvaskar. The Companion's Mead Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Holds. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. <laughs> Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battle-borns. Ooh. Ah. Eh. <laughs> the battle-borns? Don't even get me started on that lot. Too late. Huh. They put on airs like there's something special. Oh, sure, they've got money, but they ain't got a shred of honor between them. Grey Mane. Huh. Now that's a name fills you with pride. We've got roots in white rum. We've got history. Well, that is very interesting. Uh, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. 